Hi everyone, it's me, Diddies. I hope you're all really well. It is currently 36 degrees here in London, so I um, am struggling. I do have a lovely cold drink. I don't know if you can hear that. It's melted a little. I hope that you're staying hydrated as well. Go and grab a drink if you feel that you need one, even if you don't. Other housekeeping is that I have once again broken my laptop. Well, I don't know. I haven't. I feel like it's not anything I'm doing, but my MacBook is not working, and that's where I have all my notes. I need to keep them on Google Docs or something. So the plan for the episode is very loose. So everyone at the moment is asleep. I think it's like a Sunday night. But yeah, the bunk beds work which is good. <laughs> I might just wake up Otto so he can feed that cow plant before it kills one of his parents. Good job, Otto. So Otto's gonna be taking over the harvest all kind of task instead of Tristan, just because Otto is gonna be the new, well, he's not gonna be the new heir in terms of who we're gonna follow, but he's going to be the new heir in terms of this farm slash little forest cabin is going to be his as the eldest son. The challenge actually stipulates that the child with the highest gardening skill is the heir of the next generation, but I'm gonna bend the rules a little bit. I feel like I have a little bit of leeway because I've done a lot of extra stuff that is not required. Oh, I also gave Marnie this bench just because I see it in so many builds and it's just like perfect for her, for all of her, um, just imagining what she's doing in her work there and then grilling her little concoctions. Uh, and I forgot that I had a little box here that had all of her herbs. So she does actually have way more than I thought she did. Oh, so she can make this now, which, which this is what you get at level 10. Yeah, we'll, we'll let her make one of them. Ooh, some Valentine's Day. I guess her and Tristan could try to reconnect. Oh, Babs is getting on in years. Oh, and they have a the hatchable egg. Spoiled, oh my God. Okay, hold on. I put the hatchable egg in there to incubate. This is an issue that I had last time, but I've seen in diff different people's Let's Plays that it's happening to other people as well. What is causing this? I'm gonna spawn a baby because there should be one. So I want her to have her make, can she make any like pies? Maybe she'll make some baked pears. I just want them to have something special for St. Valentine's Day. It does use a lot of pears, but maybe it's really big or something. And Tristan is going to go, I guess, flower picking again. Yeah, go, he's going to go and pick flowers. Oh, good point. I think Otto, who is the o only sim other than Clement that really knows what is going on, is going to be like, oh, dad, dad, I'll go, I'll go with you. Just to kind of keep an eye on him and make sure he doesn't go astray. He hasn't obviously done anything questionable for a while, but better to be safe. Clement, I think I'll send you fishing just so we can get some for the inventory. And plenty, oh, sorry, parsley. <laughs> you wanna eat some cake, okay. But I think that you should go fishing with your brother. And Kirby, why don't you go as well? That's the weirdest looking food I've ever seen. <laughs> it kind of looks appropriate for Valentine's Day. Wait, I can't zoom in too close, I'm gonna get demonetized. <laughs> They're pears, they're fruit pears. And the girls, I think I want to get them a little knitting set each because they would be working on their dowries, I suppose. Oh, these two have come back. Okay, what have they got? So Tristan got a snapdragon, a daisy, and a smolly. He could give any of those to Marnie. Probably the most expensive one. So the snapdragon. I think he's been trying sort of moderately hard to be a good husband and father lately. She... Reacted positively. They got the little mood, um, the little sentiment. Marnie's uh, just had a visitor after some of her herbalism help. That's what I'm pretending those phone calls are. I don't really know how to turn them off. Kirby, why don't you clean Cusco? And Plenty found a hatchable egg. So I'm going to say incubate in coop, but then it's going to tell me that it's spoiled again, which is super annoying. But we'll just um, spawn another chick when it becomes spoiled. <laughs> I've had Otto invite over uh, Nikita, but I think she's probably still, unfortunately, a little bit too young to be the love interest, but they can hang out. Yeah, she's still a little one. I mean, I'd like them to be the same age before, you know, raise that as an idea. <laughs> Wait, Tristan's getting sentiments with his kids? Is he? No. Oh, it's Marnie getting sentiments with people. Yeah, it's Marnie. <gasps> oh no, oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, bye. Oops. One last pet. Oh, Grim's waiting. Clement, come and say hi to your bestie. Oh, Babs, we only just named you. 
Goodbye, little Babbity. Oh, Chanticleer's come out to watch. He's like, his girlfriend just disappearing into the earth. Goodbye, little Babs. You're a good chicken, you were really good. Chanticleer, you're next. <laughs> oh, I guess Grim just disappears. Kirby, go and cheer up Chanticleer. Give him a hug. I don't know why she's so angry. Maybe it's a, her werewolf. I assume she's got a dormant werewolf thing because both her parents are. She's not acting angry. It just says that she is. She looks pretty happy. Now she's a bit of a tomboy. I might have them go fishing together. I'm just, I'm just like really convinced that someone needs to, <laughs> someone needs to get some fish this episode. Okay, Tristan, what are you up to? Oh my God. Okay, well that's unrelated to anything, that's fine. Fix this. Aw, oh, this is cute. She must be about to age up. I don't know how we check. Right, so this is an, in MC's command center. It says set age and age span, maximum value is 13, and it is 13. So I'm guessing she'll age up very soon, this week probably. Well, everyone's becoming besties. Why isn't Tristan? Oh, they have to woohoo or kiss or something. They can, they can kiss. Tristan, well, you need to pee, but then go and kiss your wife. These guys are getting sentiments like crazy. Um, Michael, Bell has showed up. He, yeah, okay, he's in Harvest Club with Tristan. I don't really know why he's here. Oh, wait, I have an idea. I have an idea. <laughs> Trade berries. Oh, because he's the creature keeper. Okay. I don't like this sim, by the way. Buy animal clothing? <laughs> this is stupid. I can do all this anyway. Oh, wait. Oh, it's different to the stuff that you can knit. Oh, you do a little rubber thing for the for the wolves. That's cute. I mean, Tristan would not be buying clothes. <laughs> Maybe for the rooster? It's too expensive. Good to know that I can get it from him. Anyway, though, what they are discussing is the prospect, since it is the uh, Valentine's Day, of Michael Bell's arranged marriage with, I'm going to say, Peach Pit. Yeah. Peach Pit is over here, the genius. She's listening. She is horrified for her life. That's why she's doing this. <laughs> she really, really, really does not want anything to do. Oh my God, what? Oh, he completed a resolution. Whenever the camera just grabs the screen like that, I get so freaking terrified that someone's dying. And it looks like Michael Bell is quite amenable. So I guess we'll have to wait till um, Peach Pit ages up to a teen before he can have the arranged marriage discussion, which is through the medieval interactions. Kirby has reached social level 10. Fantastic job. Oh, he just received a Finchwick favor. Tristan is Michael's faring friend today. He is happy to offer Tristan a favor for being a men member of the village community. Does that mean he got something? Oh, he gave him some beef wellington. Okay, I'm gonna say that counts. <laughs> this sad looking MF is uh, potentially gonna be betrothed to one of the little girls once they are of age. I don't really like him that much. There's nothing particularly wrong with him. I just don't, I just don't care for him. But they've settled the deal with some beef wellington, which is weird. <laughs> and I guess Tristan's, Tristan's immediately, he had cued that on his own. He went and talked to Peach Pit. Oh, wait, who's he? Oh, he's still hurt by, is it Clement? Tristan is still deeply wounded by Kirby. That's so freaking weird. Okay, this weirdo is hugging our llama, right? I thought you were leaving. He's come over to Peach Pit to, I guess, uh, ask about Michael Bell, but he's telling her. And there's Michael. I think Peach Pete's a genius, isn't she? Yeah, so she's not, this is not the life that she wants for herself at all. She's looking at this man, this old man. I guess he's the same, yeah, he's like the same age as her dad. I haven't had the pleasure of meeting Michael. That's not what she said. Um, but she can do a respectful introduction, but then she's gonna run the heck away. Aggravated conversation, feeling angry after an unpleasant conversation. Yeah, Peach Pit, run, run the heck away from that old man. <laughs> Go to sleep. <laughs> oh. Otto's still out here fishing. Um, Wolfgang wants to come over, okay. Tristan's just in the bathroom playing with some clay. Oh, look at this little chick. If anyone wants to name a chick, I don't know if it's gonna be a hen or a rooster. I don't know if the ones that you spawn in using debug or whatever it's called actually um, grow to roosters anyway or if they're always hens. Oh, yeah, I wanted I wanted Marnie to, uh, I wanted Tristan to kiss Marnie. They haven't done that in a while. Look at that, how much their freaking relationship has gone down. There you go. He didn't like it. <laughs> Aww, and they have a nice hug. I don't think Tristan's told Marnie about his plans for his uh, daughter. He's probably trying to make plans for 
plenty as well, but he hasn't seen all that crew, the harvesting crew, for a while. It's going to be the harvest again on Wednesday. Probably not this episode. He doesn't really think it's any of her business what he decides to do with his family, you know? Oh. That thought bubble wasn't very nice. <laughs> but she's really happy and Tristan is like, flowers, yay. Why don't I go get you some more flowers? He's going to go for a nighttime stroll. Everyone else is distracted. Wolfgang's here, so I guess Otto's talking to him. And I want to say that um, Wolfgang's given him this holy book because I want to put Otto on the... There's like a cow plant religion. It's, it's for like druids and stuff. It's from a mod as well. It's called Rambunctious Religion mod, I think. The book is just like a prop, obviously. Yeah, Cult of the Cow Plant is what he's going to join. So Wolfgang kindly gave that to him. Is the book invisible? It is. Excellent. Love that. Love that. He still can't read, by the way, just so that's clear. Um, I was thinking about one of my favorite toys and I can't find it. I'm starting to miss it and to feel sad. Play with a different toy and stop doing that. <laughs> okay, Otto has required the religion skill. Cool. Okay, he needs to reach level two and then he can get initiated. So instead of him reading the book, this is the conversation he's having with Wolfgang. I just, you know, that's not how the game will let you do it. So <laughs> Oh, I suppose Marnie would be out here and realize that she can't find Tristan. But she wouldn't want to say anything in front of Wolfgang. She doesn't really trust the people that are not immediately in her household, you know? Although, obviously, he's done a really good job with Otto, who's sleeping in her bed for some reason. <laughs> Why is everyone still awake? Are you guys not sleepy yet? Oh, Nikita's still here. Okay, I guess he came over to pick up his child. Sometimes I just get so angry that I don't know what to do with myself. How can I deal with things when I can't even talk it? No, Moni would be very much the scream into a pillow school of thought. She doesn't talk her feelings through. Otto's manners fell out of range and the good manners trait. Well, that's a shame. You two just hanging out? Okay. Oh, they are cute. I don't know if that's actually her dad. Wilder, Wilder, yeah, that is her dad. Since Peach Pit and Moni are talking, I think she's gonna very quietly be like, Mom, so dad said I had to marry that really weird old man and Moni is like, what? She obviously does not want to do it. She wants better things for herself. Marnie is not in the habit of telling her husband what to do, but she knows that recently he has not been making the best decisions. She doesn't know where he is right now. So I think she says to Peach Pit, don't, don't worry. Um, we're not going to make you do anything that you don't want to do. Because she does feel that way about her children. She doesn't want to force them into any life that they don't want. She wasn't necessarily forced. I think she, she married Tristan of her own kind of like limited free will. Um, everyone had a good St. Valentine's Day. Yeah, everyone had a good St. Valentine's Day. Clement's out here talking to Wolfgang and Nikita and I think he just straight up says like, I can show you the best spots to dig when you're running around like dogs. And they're both like, wah. Oh, Tristan's back. Wolfgang somehow just disappeared. I don't know how. He's gonna do a rude introduction to Nikita. He's heard about these, um, People that live in the other side of the Granite Falls area, in Moonwood Mills, he's heard about them. He's formed an impression of them. I just, I'm trying to make it go away. I don't know how to... Oh, Wolfgang's here too, so he's going to be rude to Wolfgang. They're talking about vampires. I think Wolfgang must be overseeing and also saying something about how um, the bats will be fine. There's, there's no reason to fear the bats. He's alluding to the cow plant. Oh, he's got fleas. Gross. He's going to yell at Wolfgang and say, get the hell off my property. Take your child with you as well. I don't want you spreading this information to my family. Get out of here. He storms in, yells at Marnie and says, how long has everybody been interacting with these people that live over in Moonwood Mills? I don't want you guys associating with them. If needs be, when I leave at night, I'm going to start locking the door. And Marnie is like, a little bit surprised like what you've you've been you've been leaving at night again and Tristan quickly backtracks and he's like what I do is my business I'm the man of this house you're all gonna do what I say or you're going to suffer the consequences and you don't want to know what those consequences are I have powerful friends now and Marnie is quite quiet when he says this and she says okay Tristan oh okay yeah he's he said like I've been out hunting for you in the woods you least you could do is have dinner waiting for me when I get back. And Moni just really resignedly says, like, okay, all right. And she's going out to her grill to make him something to eat. And Plenty's out here, so she says to Plenty, tell your, tell your sister that, that it's okay. Tell your sister not to worry. 
Oh, she's hysterical. Okay, no, Marnie. She puts it down and says, here you go, Tristan. And puts it right in front of him. I'm gonna just pause while I go and have her. No, I don't really want her to laugh herself to death. She is feeling hysterical in this moment. To the kids around, she's like, no, no, don't eat any of that, that's for daddy. And he's eating it all up. And he's thinking to himself, whatever herbs she's put on this, they are delicious. Oh, oh my goodness. They're not doing great. <laughs> it's awkward. <laughs> okay, Marnie, clear his plate. Good job, Marnie. He's really itchy. I wonder if one of Marnie's, she's got like a insect repellent. I'm gonna see if that works. Bug free? Um, I don't know if it's worked exactly. But Tristan's gonna pay those taxes that just came in. Uh, the bills, sorry. And I mean, I guess I'll send him to bed. Oh, it's 8.30 a.m. Why is it so dark? Marnie, will you sleep in the same bed as him or are you too upset with him? Okay. They will sleep in the same bed. Plenty. Oh, you're pretty tired. I was gonna have her do the laundry. Yeah, I didn't I didn't realize it was 8 a.m. So I'm letting everyone go to sleep. Kirby's feeling okay. Kirby, you can look for eggs since it is Easter. Because Tristan's not that sleepy. I'm just having him do the chores, the farm chores, like feeding the cow plant and cleaning Cusco in the shed and everything. Plenty is dutifully knitting, I guess something for her sister who she's heard might be having some nuptials soon. Tristan can make a drink. So he's relaxing with a nice drink. Peach Bit's the one that's really into this little potion table, so I think that she is making her dad the drinks now. I think she is like the favorite, even though she's the one that he's chosen for um, this prospective marriage. She probably thinks that she can um, weasel her way out of it if it really comes to it, because she's a little bit smarter than her siblings and her parents. But yeah, I think she's, she's daddy's girl and she makes uh, his little drinks for him. He's hitting the bear again. Great, that's great. Why, why do you feel the need? You're perfectly happy. You have issues, my man. Peach Pit made a health potion. They stave off hunger, apparently. So that'll be useful um, when winter rolls around again. Oh my god, she's doing her homework. No, <laughs> you're not allowed. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna sell her homework so she doesn't do it. They're not meant to try to do good in school. Don't, stop, stop doing your homework. She really wants to be the clever one. Marnie is a shining beacon of positivity for the community. Passing by other sims will elicit friendly waves and cheerful smiles as everyone's day is brightened by her presence. Friends will be more forgiving if she commits any social miscues and they won't be quick to judge her. Uh, that's pretty crazy considering she's such a loner. Yeah, look, she's got pristine reputation. I mean, good for her. Oh, okay. We got a little visitor. It's Biscuit. It's Kirby's bestie. Plead with Biscuit to stop. I thought they were friends. Let's see how this goes. Hey Otto, it's Nikita. Do you want to hang out tonight? Ooh. Okay. Sorry, I'm interrupting the wolf uh, conversation. <laughs> Partying with club friends. <laughs> so he's traveled all the way to Windenburg. It's a bit far. Ooh. Gonna come light this bonfire, maybe do some digging. Okay, it says maximum value 13 and now it's 14. I'm guessing it's her birthday. Oh, he's stinky. He's he's put on the um anti-stink ointment. <laughs> But he does need somewhere to pee. Don't know where Nikita's running. Oh, wow. Oh my god, I forgot this was here. She's going straight in. <laughs> I'm just gonna have him harvest a bunch of stuff while he's here. <gasps> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Look, 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 look. She aged up, she aged up. Okay, wait, I don't actually know. I don't actually know if I got that as I was recording because I was fast forwarding and watching Otto, but she's a teen. How can I can like congratulate her on her birthday? Is that a thing I can do? I want to know what her traits are. I guess I'll go into create a sim and make her over. She wanted to spend her birthday with Otto. She's a green fiend. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. Okay, I'm gonna make her over. So she's outgoing and a green fiend and a werewolf initiate, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> okay. Here she is. Um, I think she looks beautiful. Unfortunately, it switched control to her. No, Otto, do not go away. I'm just gonna straight up have her do a little flirt and see how it lands. I think he's probably a little bit naive and oblivious to why she invited him out here. 
all alone. Oh my gosh, there's the Loch Ness monster. Sorry, I got distracted. There was a Loch Ness monster. Out here all alone on her birthday. I think it went well. Oh, he's hugging her. All right, try another flirt. How do I switch control to him? I never know how to do that. Oh, he liked it. They don't have a romance bar though. I'm just opening casts for him so I can go back and be him. <laughs> All right, I'm back. They're getting on pretty good. I'm glad. Can he sing to her? Probably not. Jam for group, maybe. I think that he's gonna show off a bit. Now that she's um, a teenager like him, she's a pretty sim. As far as he knows, she's not attached. She's always been friendly. They're really, really good friends. He's gonna be like, is he still in his... Yeah, he's still in his loud phase. He's, he's jamming out for her on his little loot. She doesn't look that impressed. Oh no. Well, she's, she's being tolerant. No, that's almost supportive. So he's playing for her and then he's gonna be like, um, when I get old enough, I'm going to, um, I'm gonna run away. I'm gonna go and be a bard. I'm not gonna stay and um, look after my family's house. He's, he thinks that this would impress her, knowing her, um, her family's politics, how they don't really believe in like traditional values. They're a bit more out there. So he's saying, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna be a bard, I'm gonna be famous. And she's kind of like, why do you need to run away to do that? Why couldn't you just play for like your friends, come to Moonwood Mills, play in the library? You could be a part of the community, that could be pretty radical. And he's like, I'm gonna be a traveling bard, I'm gonna, he thinks he's impressing her, she's not impressed. And she's just like, uh-huh, whatever Otto. And she just like straight up goes home. So I'm sending him home too. Well, I can't seem to send him home. They keep wanting to chat, but yeah, she's she's like, what about a family? What about raising a family? And he's like, I don't know. I hadn't thought about that. <laughs> okay, I'm letting him go home. So Otto's come home. And I think he's going to go and tell his mom like, hey, it was, um, it was Nikita's birthday. And she didn't tell me, which is weird, until I was out there in um, Windenburg with her. And, and Marnie's like, oh, Windenburg, huh? <laughs> like she, she knows what's up. And he says, she kept asking me about like what I wanted from like, family and like raising children and stuff isn't that weird and Marnie says I don't think that's very weird Otto and then Otto suddenly like oh no I'm an idiot <laughs> and Tristan's not here but at least he has not locked them inside I suppose uh if he finds out that Otto's been hanging out with Nikita he might feel differently we don't know yet I guess we've got to wait for him to show up. But I will leave this one here for today. Thank you as ever for watching. Hope you're all doing really, really well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.